Hi, it's Craig Howard again, and I just want to throw uh, another thought at you today. I hope you're having a good day. Um, I'm sitting here. This is my Sunday school class area on Sunday mornings, and uh, I have a great group of people in my Sunday school class. I love them to death. Um, we have some really good discussions sometimes. Right now, we're studying some stuff by Francis Chan, who is one of the most amazing Bible teachers I've ever uh, listened to and, and sat under. And so we're going through a study that Francis Chan had prepared, and so it's really good. But one of the things that kind of bothers me anymore is how unimportant most people think Sunday school is and how few people are giving time for Sunday school in their lives um, all across the country in churches all over the country Sunday schools are dwindling in numbers in fact a lot of churches have stopped having Sunday school because there's just not enough people to support it and while it's a wonderful thing for adults to do I believe it is absolutely crucial for children because it's in, it's in Sunday school that you learn those foundational stories, those foundational truths that help our children grow and understand God as they get older. And unless you learn the basic stories of the Bible, the story of Daniel and the lion's den and, and the story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and the story of, of the Israelites crossing the Red Sea and all of the wonderful stories, the stories of, of Jesus' uh, birth and the stories of Jesus feeding the 5,000 and, and on and on and on the list goes. Unless you you learn those foundational stories, you'll never really understand the Bible. And I meet so many adults now that don't know these basic stories because they've come up in a time when Sunday school's not important and they don't get there. Well, I think it's crucial. I think it's important, not just for kids. I think it's important for adults too. Jesus told his disciples in Matthew chapter 11, verse 28, he said, take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. He said, you need to find this rest, you need to find this ability, this, you need to find a way to be able to relax in your relationship with me, but unless you know about me, unless you learn about me, unless you get to know me, you'll never really be able to relax in this relationship that I want to have with you. I think one of the most important things that you can do as a believer or even as a non-believer is to go learn the Word of God. If you, you know, it, it amazes me how many people who don't know Christ and don't know what they don't know like they've never taken the time to investigate what Christianity is all about. They think it's all about a religion. Christianity is not about a religion. It's about a relationship. And until you learn what you don't know, you can never make an informed decision. I think Sunday school is important. As long as I'm pastor, I will fight any attempt to give up on Sunday school. But I have to admit... Fewer and fewer people are finding it important in their lives. And I don't understand that. I want to know everything I can know about Jesus, about my relationship with my Heavenly Father. I want to know everything I can know about it. And while that isn't going to just be learned in Sunday school, I need to feed myself. I need to be in the Word. Sunday school is a great place to learn. It's not entertaining. It's not there to entertain you. And that's why a lot of people drop out. Ah, you know, the kids say, it's boring. Well, sometimes it is, and sometimes the preacher's boring. <sighs> but it's a great place to learn. You think about that today as you go through your day. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I hope you learn something new about God today. You have a great day today. God bless you.